All right, so I'm gonna make a quick video. I haven't updated uh, my page in a while or done any videos because I found something out that I really hate editing videos and I hate getting copyright strikes uh, every time I listen to some music in the background. So this is just gonna be a quick little video. I'm doing a removable apron and I know there's a ton of videos on this, uh, but if you can see, there's only 14 spot welds right here that you have to drill through on both sides and the thing and then in here you're gonna cut on both sides here right down here and right down here you don't have to there's different ways of doing it you can see online but if i wish if i would if i would have known this back in the day it would have been a whole lot easier because all i did was put pull the engine out i mean it, i didn't have to jack up the car or anything and then i went to harbor freight got a quick uh a cheap little welder and even though I never welded before, ooh, what is that? And even though, ah, and even though I never welded before, this looks like crap, but it's super tight on both sides and I'm learning and I'm getting better. And this looks like doo-doo, but it works. So I'm gonna, and all I did was weld a couple of washers on the, um, on the rear apron. And then I'm gonna use the fender bolts when I mount the fenders, I'm gonna use those bolts to bolt it in. And I'm gonna just do some fitting and uh, show you the final result. So I picked up the Chicago electric uh, welding machine from uh, Harbor Freight. It was like less than a hundred bucks, so it's totally worth it and already paid, paid itself off. And uh, oof, looks like doo-doo, but um, I made it work and it's stuck on there really well. And then I'm gonna just add some paint on that, so. This is both sides of it. That's ugly, but it works and it works and work in progress. All right, I'm gonna slap some paint on it and I'll go show you guys uh, after I mount it and uh, how it comes out. All right, I spent most of my morning looking for my stupid tripod and I couldn't find it. So it's gonna be a handheld situation here. All right, let's check it out. I finished the I finished putting in the engine. It's so much easier this way. You just straight in, you don't have to lift the car or anything. And I have my apron, which I showed you guys that I did this horrible job of welding in, but it's, it's, it works. I just got those washers, welded them on, and we're just gonna insert it, line them up with the holes of the fender and see if I can do this one-handed. Sliding down into place, kind of, sort of. There we go. That lined up, and this lined up. Boom. So the washer, you line up once I. There we go. Not bad, and not bad. So now I'll just use the fender bolts to mount it on and see how it looks. Probably not going to look as good as it when it was welded on, but it's going to make life a lot easier when I have to take this out and redo the main seal and the clutch and all that stuff, which eventually will happen. They're my new sweet pipes. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful. There's a bunch of other videos on this stuff, so you guys could kind of do what you want. I've seen some uh, one guy um, uh, use rivets to put it back on where the spot welds were at. Uh, and that's okay, except you have to drill that out and I don't want to try to avoid that for next time So far I got one side in put the fender on with the bolts and this thing is solid So I would definitely recommend doing that if you guys uh, Want to give it a go Put the new bead on so it's looking pretty pretty tight a little faux patina, but It's good for now. All right guys. Hope you guys learned something. Have a good one